everyone. Today I'm going to show you a new way to grow microgreens. Um, it's an idea I had after watching several videos that people have done. I'm starting off with a container. This is a plastic container. It used to have lettuce in it. It's pretty cool because it's see-through and it has this lid so it'll act like a little greenhouse and retain moisture in there. Now I watched a video not too long ago where a lady did an experiment using paper towels versus soil to grow microgreens and I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, and I thought it was interesting because it would be a good idea to grow the microgreens in a medium that is clean and easy to, um, to harvest from. That way you don't have greens that are full of dirt because nobody wants that. So I did some thinking and I had an idea Rather than purchasing paper towels, which isn't something I normally have around the house, I thought I could use dryer lint. I figured if I compacted it down and used that to plant the seeds, it would be pretty clean. You know, it's not dirt. It kind of stays together in a chunk. And it puts this to good use. And the roots can easily work their way through this stuff. It's pretty soft. One of the problems the other lady had was that the microgreens on the paper towels didn't grow as quickly or as well because of a lack of nutrients. So I thought, what if I put a sprinkling of used coffee grounds beneath the dryer lint to provide a little bit of nutrients? It only needs to stay alive, you know, for about a week to 10 days to get some good microgreens going on. But I figured that would give it a little extra uh, nutrition it needs to grow well. So that's what I'm going to be trying today. It's sort of an experiment and we'll have to update and see how it goes. So I've got my container here and the seeds I'm going to grow are alfalfa seeds. They're actually for growing sprouts which I have some on the counter so I know they grow well. They're excellent for sprouts but you can also use them to grow microgreens and since I have them on hand that's what I'm going to use. So I've got my cleaned out lettuce container and I've got my coffee grounds. So I'm not going to put a lot. I don't want it to, you know, in case they're very strong, I don't want it to overwhelm the little plants. So I'm just going to kind of spread it around a little bit here and that should be plenty. The roots can go down through the lint here and um, get their nutrients. So now we'll go ahead and put lint on top of the coffee grounds. I don't think I'm going to need all the lint I brought in here, unfortunately, but that's all right. You can use the other lint for something else. I personally like to use it as a fire starter. When we're going to make a bonfire outside, you use a bunch of lint and that starts your fire right up. So if you didn't know that, you're welcome. Okay. So there we have a nice layer of lint covering up the coffee grounds underneath. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy mister and mist it down real good because you want a lot of moisture in there. You don't want it soggy, but you know, you need some moisture for them to grow. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Make sure it's spread out. You don't want the seeds going where they don't belong. Okay, so now we get to plant the seeds. When you're planting microgreens, you want to put lots of seeds. You want to get as many little plants growing together as possible. So I'm just going to get my spoon here and sprinkle them all over this dryer lint. couple spots are a little thin so I'm going to do some more. Make sure we get all, all the seeds covering everything. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to do one or two sprays just to make sure everything is nice and moist and ready to grow. I did not soak the seeds ahead of time this time. This is kind of a spur of the moment thing. It would, it's a good idea to soak them for a day ahead of time. That helps the seeds sprout faster, but 
it's not going to inhibit anything. We'll be fine. It just might take an extra day to grow. So I'm clapping the lid down. I'm snapping the lid down and I am going to put this to the side somewhere to let it start growing and I will do an update and let you know how they grow. Hi everyone, we are back. We, it's been about 48 hours since we've started this little experiment. So two entire days have passed and as you can see, these seeds are growing. They're looking great. It looks like there's a couple of areas where I may have seeded it a little too thick. They're not sprouting as well there, but the rest of them are sprouting really well. Plenty of little roots are growing. So far, so good. For just the second day in, this looks pretty good. The lid of the container actually did pretty well keeping the moisture in, but it does feel like it could probably use a couple of spritzes. So. We're going to just spray it down a little bit and close the lid and put it back in its little safe area and we'll check back in in a couple of days and see what it's looking like. Hello again everyone, Squishy Squid here. Um, we are actually on day seven. I had actually almost decided to throw this project away and the reason being is mold. I'm not sure how well you can see here, but there's some fuzzy mold here, and here, and there. Yeah, it, it started growing mold on the third day, which is pretty disappointing. And I'm gonna say that's probably because of the either the lint or the coffee grounds must have had mold spores in it, and since we didn't really do anything to sterilize those things, you know, the mold began to grow. But then I decided, you know what, we'll just go ahead and finish the project and finish growing them out and when we're done, I can just throw them outside for the chickens. So I just wanted to, to point out those two things. One, the mold started growing on day three due to non-sterilized medium. The other thing I wanted to mention was last time I thought I had overseeded um, because some of the seeds were not sprouting. However, what happened was it looked like there was plenty of moisture in there because there was a lot of condensation, but that section of the seeds was dry. So when I started watering them better, we ended up with a lot more growth. As you can see, they're actually growing very well in there. I think they like the coffee grounds and you know, the lint is not a problem. The roots can go right down through the lint. Um, but yeah, we would want to sterilize it or something if we were going to grow this for people to eat. But anyway, that's day seven. I'll probably grow this for a few more days and see how tall it gets. And then we'll just throw it on outside. And we've learned some things from this experiment. It's not a total waste of time, but I'm a little disappointed with the mold, I have to admit. All right, we will check back in in a couple more days. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is day 10 and the final day of our little experiment on whether or not you can grow microgreens in dryer lint with coffee grounds as a fertilizer. It has been an interesting experiment. Um, I would say you can grow them, look, they grew. But, ooh, look at that, look at the roots. See, at this point, we could go ahead and snip them off and use them in our salad. The only problem we ran into here was mold. Check it out. There's a whole mess of mold growing right up over in this area. And I think we could prevent that by possibly disinfecting the lint and coffee grounds before we started growing. So that might be worth trying. Or you could just, just grow greens your regular way in soil or whatever you wanna use. But I thought it'd be fun to give it a try. And we got a nice thick batch of growth here. And I'm actually gonna feed this to the chickens. They're gonna love this. They're really gonna love this. Um, and the tiny patch of mold right here, that's not gonna hurt them. Um, but I thought it was an interesting experiment. Sort of worked, wasn't perfect, we grew mold. But we've also got some lush, thick growth of alfalfa. 
that the chickens are going to love. So thanks for following along on this little experiment. It's been interesting. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all our subscribers. Um, if, we got more video plans coming up soon, so if you want to see some more interesting stuff, please follow along. All right. If you guys have any interesting different ways of growing microgreens, feel free to drop some tips in the comments. It'd be interesting to find out what different people do. All right. Have a blessed day, everybody.